Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, first part of question six from this particular exam paper. It's quite tricky, it's the back end of the exam paper, so we're expecting it to be a little bit harder than normal. Okay, so the first thing he wants me to do is state the conditions necessary for a body to remain in equilibrium. So there's two parts to this, there's the part about forces. So we need to say that the sum uh, of forces, so this is shorthand for sum, of forces must equals zero. And at the same time, the sum of the moments, so the sum of the moments, so that's uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise, uh, clockwise and must also equal zero. So the forces must equal zero once you add them all together, so there must be no net force, and there must be no net moment either. Okay, so now we're going to do this next part down here, which is this hanging uh, street sign. What's very helpful is that they've labelled the diagram for us, uh, including the weight down here, which is quite useful. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the moments about this. So I know that those moments must be in equilibrium with each other. So I, I'm going to find this uh, downward moment over here, so this clockwise moment over here, and that's going to be equal to the distance 2 times the force 240. And that's going to give me a downward moment of 480 newton metres. Okay, now I know that whatever the upward force from the tension here, I know its moment is going to equal 480 newton metres. Okay, because this, down, this uh, clockwise moment must be balanced by this anti-clockwise in this direction. So... Uh, let's think about what this moment is going to be here. So it's going to be a force times the distance of 1.4. So if the, the moment is equal to um, the force times the distance, then the uh, force is going to be equal to the moment divided by the distance. Which is equal to the force, right? So the force is going to be equal to 480 divided by, there's my distance, 1.4. And when I run that through my calculator, I get that that's equal to 343. I mean, there's some decimals as well, but we're going to round it off because uh, otherwise we'll be here all day. And that's going to be newtons because we're in a force. I've not finished yet because what they want me to do is to show that the tension in the wire is equal to approximately 600 newtons. So I need to draw myself a quick vector diagram here. So remember, that's a force. Sorry, that's a moment, not a force. So actually what we need to do is we need to look at what is the force in this triangle. So I'm just going to very quickly sketch out the triangle that I'm looking for here. So I like to do it like this because then I'm not doing too much redrawing where that's 35, the angle given to me in the question here. I know that the upward component has to be 343. And I'm trying to find this mystery component, let's call it H here. You may recall uh, trigonometry. Okay, so there are my options that I can use, my Sokotoa. Now I've got an opposite, because I'm opposite the angle, and I need to find my hypotenuse, so I'm going to use sine. And looking at this, if I'm trying to find the hypotenuse, it's opposite over sine. So the tension, the hypotenuse, is equal to the uh, opposite, 3, 4, 3, divided by sine 35, that's my angle component, and that, running out of space here, is going to give me 598. I hope that's been useful. You can have a play around. Don't forget that'll be Newton's. Uh, have a play around, see if you can reproduce that answer for yourself.